they were very like precautious in there before they even touch you they check your temperature to make sure you don't have a you know high temperature um and if you don't have a mask on they don't even let you get in my mask is off now obviously when i got out of there i threw it away yo pd where, where are you at guys as you can tell by the title today I went to the hair salon to get my hair done in the middle of this pandemic um, before before I even get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already and then I guess after the video you know or in the middle of the video somewhere go ahead and comment and like y'all already know if you want to be a little extra go ahead and share my video um but yeah let's get into it so today was the first day that where i go to get my hair cut because i go to a different place just to straighten my hair stuff but to get it cut i go to a specific person She's the only one I trust with cutting my hair because I know she's gonna cut it how I want and it'll grow back. So when she put on social media that they were opening back up and they opened their bookings, honey, I was on it, okay? Because I, I needed my hair cut, like, you know what I'm saying? My hair was down to my waist. Um, then a year ago, I cut it. Then I cut it. Um, it was a little longer than this when I cut it. I, I think it's like right here. And then it was growing back. And then when I went back to Polly, her name is Polly, the one that just cut my hair. When I went back to her today, that thing was like under my move. Like in a year, my hair grew from like here to here. That's that's crazy. It was like right here, something like that. For the hair salon, they were very, very precautious. Super precautious. They were only going by appointments, by the way. Y'all yeah, might see some of it in the video, but yeah, they were very precautious. They weren't playing, honey, okay? Um, but yeah. Went to the hair salon, cut my hair, in the middle of all this craziness going on in the world. Now, let's get to the video. This is after, but y'all will see how it was before. I had to make a quick stop. Starbucks because a sister just woke up not too long ago. Some of y'all probably can tell by my face. But yeah, they gave me some Starbucks. Got me my frappuccino, my butter croissant. Because I don't know how my mom would be the hair salon. Shouldn't be long because the girl that does my hair, she's very quick. So I'm gonna cut it off again. I'm out of here. Oh, and here's my frappuccino. Mm. That's my go-to drink. But let me get up this phone because this light is about to turn green. See you guys in a bit. And I'm freaking like six minutes late. I don't like being late to my hair appointments. So I'm over here running out of breath. Ooh. Okay, I'm about to walk in. See you in a bit.
Alright guys, so I just finished getting my hair done. I cut it, I love it. This is actually shorter than I was the first time I cut it. Like, do y'all see this? Holly is the best, bro. Like, if you're an ATL, come see Holly. She is the best at cutting hair, styling, everything. in there before they even touch you they check your temperature to make sure you don't have a you know high temperature um they check your like little thingy that they do like on your forehead like they don't actually touch you um and if you don't have a mask on they don't even let you get in my mask is off now obviously when i got out of there i threw it away I mean, like I said, I had my mask, so they let me in first to check my temperature. Then they let me fill out some paperwork. Um, like, it's a little questionnaire, making sure that, you know, you haven't been around that had the virus, um, that nobody in your house had the virus, um, all that good stuff. That was my experience, you know, going in there in the middle of this whole pandemic stuff. When I tell you, like, everybody had, you know, their masks on. The ladies that were washing, doing hair, they all had their um, gloves on. They were protected. Like, they were not playing, honey. And I loved it. Like, they really take care of me in there. They really do. Ryan Little. I didn't feel like I was at risk in there. Holly, again, which she is the best. If you want, like, a big chop or just, you know, a regular hair salon, come check out Salon Belladonna. They are the best. They're in Dunwoody. So if you're in Atlanta, they're in Dunwoody. Look them up. Uh, they're the best. Now it's time to go home. Thank you guys so much, so much, so much, so much for watching. Um, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, go ahead and check them out. What are you waiting for? Why haven't you watched them? Go check those out. Um, I have my quarantine 23rd Ryan birthday, Q&A with Hubby, and the plantain burger. Um, so go check those out. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below on those. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about my hair. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. Um, and like always, don't forget to comment, like, Subscribe. And if you want to be a little extra, go ahead and share my video. See you in my next video.